Welcome everybody to Flight DJI Phantom the Maverick Air 2 Q&A of DJI. So let's do this and here we go. Hi, I'm Tyler Filler and I'm here with Chris and we're going to give you our review of the Phantom 4 and the Maverick Air 2. Let's do this and here we go. Woo! <laughs> So Chris, tell me why you chose the DJI lineup over any other brand out there. Well, because Tommy, DJI is one of the best brands out there for flying cameras and accessories for gimbals, but um, their, their uh, drones are like pros, so I was excited, it did my homework, and that's what I got. What do you like about the Phantom 4? The Phantom 4 that I like is that it has good crisp ceramic quality and not only that, it's great as in, um, you know, taking photos as well. You could take photos in a lot of different places for cinema and for photography, videography wise. It has that clear crystal vision on it and that's what's so good about it. So how does it handle the wind? Handle and wind, um, it handles really good and when I flew in wind, remember when I went to peel up and I only got 10 minutes in flying in peel up or um, the app will tell you when to land, when it's, when it's too heavy to fly because of wind, the wind is great. That's what these drones are built for is wind quality as well. Uh, is there anything that you wish you had known before you bought the Phantom 4? Um, the, the thing that I wish that I've known of, um, about the Phantom 4 before I bought it be, because I wanted to also get the DJI Smart Controller and that's what I'm using to fly this with Tommy. And basically I wish that uh, DJI would have told everybody that the uh, that the smart controller that it didn't work with the Maverick Air 2 which is not compatible yet because of the firmware update that's one of the biggest things and the biggest thing is um, um, getting on the propellers is a little hard um, it, it is it's a it's a challenge but it's 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 a great thing altogether do you have to buy accessories for the Phantom 4 or does it come with accessories? Oh, it only comes with one battery, Tommy. So what I did was I bought two more batteries on top of that just because I wanted, um, you get 25 minutes for flight time. And since you get 25 minutes for flight time, um, well, you want more. And so since the DJI Maverick Air 2 comes with uh, three batteries in the fly more combo, well, I decided, you know, I'm gonna be flying this uh, for businesses as well and for mapping for uh, you know taking uh, photos and videography for other businesses out there I want three batteries just to have that flight time and for what I'm doing and what is the distance that the Phantom 4 can fly well with the controller with the white controller you could fly up to maybe two to three miles but um, with the smart controller it uh, doubles that a little bit and um, you can fly up to uh, quite a bit without interference so maybe up to at least four or five miles with the smart controller. What's it like to fly the Maverick Air 2? The Maverick Air 2 is different and it's really easy, it's smooth, the controllers are smooth on it, um, the flight, uh, the, uh, the effects that you could do on it doing like uh, roundabouts, have it panning around you. It's pretty cool as well. It's very good at um, basically, you could do a lot with it as well. Um, the 4K shooting on it is really great. The high definition shots as far as shooting photography um, is really great as well. And what is the fly time on it? The flight time, you could have 32 minutes up to battery time on the Maverick Air 2. Uh, and it's great because with the Fly More Combo, remember we did the unboxing where it has three batteries with it. So you're looking at almost an hour and th 30 minutes, an hour and a half. And what's the distance on the Maverick Air 2? The distance is with the, um, you can go up to two and a half miles. I've got up to two and a half miles without losing um, going out of range. And, and how does the Maverick Air 2 handle in wind? And how does the Maverick Air 2 handle in wind? It handles really good. That's what it's built for. That DJI did a 
great job down to the crisp on that uh, because flying in wind, um, it's, it's, it handles very well. Um, DJI knew what they were doing and they listened to, to their customers and so it handles quite great in wind. Are there any features that you prefer over others? Um, there are some features on the DJI Maverick Air 2 that I uh, love. Um, you could pan around, you could do a lot of things for photography, videography, you could do um, um, time lapse. Time lapse has been updated on the firmware, but I like the time lapse on um, the DJI Maverick Air 2. It's different from the DJI uh, Phantom 4 lineup as well because it's, it's just really very different. And comparing the two qualities of videos, uh, what do you see in the video quality? The video quality um, in the Maverick Air 2 series, you have great um, you have great things that you could shoot in 4K cinema mode. With the Phantom, it's a little different. It's um, the, the shots are crystal clear, but the video is crystal clear too. But it's all about high definition. Uh, which uh, drone camera has a sharper color as far as contrast goes? The, sh between, the, sh the sharper color is the Maverick Air 2 to me and to others out there just because I've seen videos and when you're doing color grading and when you're doing a lot of editing, um, the Maverick Air 2 has that compatibility with um, great video uh, color grading, like I said, cinematic shots up to the T, where the Phantom, eh, it's okay, but not as good as 4K, but it's okay. That is all the time we have for part one. We will have a part two for you. So here's what you can do. Until then, you can subscribe to us, leave us a like, and uh, leave us a comment down below what you thought of our video so far. And Chris, you got anything else to say to the people out there before we end? Yeah, those of you are wanting to get a drone out there, look at the Mavic Air 2, look at the Phantom. I would say I'm a Mavic Air fam guy, so I like the Mavic Air just a little bit more in the Mavic series. You can actually um, look at the Mavic Air series. Um, a lot of people say um, on videos that it's really great and it's a good thing for if you want to get into mapping um, or as far as um, cinema goes or YouTube videos. So that's my expertise to you guys. My final words for this first part is um, I appreciate DJI, how they listen to the customers. They got great customer service from what I've heard. Don't forget that notification bell because it'll let you know when we post part two. All right, so this has been a top level media. We'll Stay see you safe. next time. Bye for now. Bye.